All right, Shalom. This is Harold One by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kal Halayim, La Yahawa, by Hashem Yahawashai, by Hashem Harakakwadash, my moth. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Aki and Manakwati, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. This lesson is going to be uh, dealing with this character, um, uh, Nature Boy or Legio, right? Um, it's going to be brief. <clears throat> Um, everybody knows him as having this uh, carbon nation I think they call themselves and um, one of those situations where you try to ignore it or disregard it because of the, the abominable things they be doing man you know uh, also going out going along the lines of uh, sodomy as well you know alleged but clearly and allegedly you know, so he got people over there worshiping him, calling him the Messiah, calling him God. When he have he have dudes and women crawling to him, eating out his hand and shit. You know, beating on him. Talking about he eat he eat people like the Africans, man. See, this is where that African mindset gets you. This is where that Egyptian uh, Sumerian. Uh, my mindset to get a person, man, or a Jake. They start dealing with these Canaanite uh, customs and cultures, right? Then that takes them along the line to start taking on these Canaanite practices and idols. And their beliefs have led them to this guy here, a damn demon. Right here in hell, right on earth, and the scripture says there's gonna be many anti, many uh, anti messiahs, man, and this is one of them. All right, basically another imposter, just like what's it doing? Yahweh Ben Yahweh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Comfy of ICGJC, and you have many others. You know, so that he's just another one. That's all. So the Lord is not sharing His glory with nobody. Especially these, these wicked ass people. All right. So yeah, man, another one bites the dust. It says here, "I am the return of Christ." That's what they call him, you know, whatever. But he he's telling people he's the return of the Messiah, man. Alleged cult leader arrested on charges including rape in DeKalb County, man. All right. Eligio Bishop and his followers have a winding report history that goes back several years. But yeah, so it's not not to get into the personal. You want to look him up? You can do all that. But I suggest you probably not. But hey, man, this should be enough right here. Just the topic, you know. Uh, they got him booked, and they got a lot of witnesses coming out against him. Just like the dude. Um, Polite that's been quiet as a church mouse. All right, so I'm gonna get a couple of precepts uh, dealing with this weirdo right here. You know, because I've seen the videos and he was in pride. This dude was prideful, man. And um, I couldn't even watch no more. <laughs> Caused up three God throwing up the eyeball symbols and got them standing around him doing all that fraternity type of vibe, Greek pagan symbols while he's speaking you know taking another dude's wives and feminizing the men one dude to have a beard if you make him take it, shave the beard and do all kind of weird shit to his face and got him all feminized it's just madness man you know so hey the Lord is putting an end to it and then he brought on a, um, I don't know what to call it, man. Cause, you know, YouTube be giving them strikes, man. You do your research on this guy, but he brought in a new member to his team. And after that member joined, that's when everybody knew it was over for him. All right. And I don't watch this stuff, but I'm saying it just caught my attention more recently. And, you know, and um, I said, oh, shit, he brought that into his house now? Yeah, he, he, that's even worse. You know, he's just adding, adding on wood to the fire, man. 
And the Lord getting fed up with this dude. So let's get some precepts, man. So I don't want to be all personal about it. Y'all can just do your research on this guy in case anybody will do any rebuke because he's calling himself the anointed. He's calling himself the Messiah, all right? And we're here to what? Tear down all strongholds, not just some or whatever we choose. He's one that needs to be tore down too because these people believe in this guy. Well, two-thirds going to believe this guy. <laughs> Matthews 24 and 3. Where is that? This is Matthews 24 and 3. It says, um, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, this is talking about Yahweh Shai, man, the true Messiah, okay, so called Negro from the tribe of Judah. Righteous king. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? All right, so what's going to be the sign of the Lord's arrival and of the end of this age? Esau's rulership. All right, so what's going to be the signs to look for? And um, <clears throat> these false teachers, these false prophets, anti-messiahs, imposters, all of them, scoffers, they're all set up and prepared for these last days to be judged and also to, to be a, com a contender against the truth. All right? So it says what? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. See? So that's why you're supposed to study to show yourself approved and don't worship man. Don't the scriptures say that, man. Alright. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So like it, verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Of course, his name is not Christ, his title is not Christ, the title is Amashayak. His name is Yahweh. So many shall come saying that they're the anointed one. And he's not. This guy is not. All right? And, um, matter of fact, let me get this real quick. It says here, Jeremiah 17 and 5, Thus saith Yahweh, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. And that's what these carbon nation people, you know, you got the whole crew that worship this dude. All right. Hey, man, you can find it all over the Internet. Uh, different testimonies of different women or dudes <laughs> that have went over there and trusted this guy, man. Hey, I, I don't feel sorry for him, man, because it, birds of a feather flock together, man. They're just not the leader. But either way, they're still part of that wickedness, man. All right? So either way, they're, um, they're being examples of... of of demonic witchcraft and, and wickedness, man. On you know. So either way, but check this out. Just a clip. Keep this nigga locked up. Keep this nigga behind bars. I don't give a fuck what nobody talking about. It's motherfuckers who left. Still talking about some free the three guy. Fuck the three guy. That nigga need to be locked up. Y'all not gonna y'all y'all don't care about it. Y'all don't motherfuckers don't care because it ain't they mother. It ain't they sister. It ain't they niece. You feel me? Like, it's women over there who are being abused. You know what I'm saying? Who are being manipulated, mind controlled. You feel me? These are young women. These are young men who have a good heart, who just trying to do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Or who really look at this dude as a guide, as a teacher, someone who's going to guide them. But instead, they're getting abused and thinking that it's, it's discipline or it's... um. You know what I'm saying? But it's not okay. We see it online that how he talked to them and, and the things he's doing is not okay to anybody's spirit. Watching it just upsets people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. See that? So there's a lot. He, you know? Right, let me get this real quick, man. That's right, man. He said it, they look at him like a guide, right? Well, the Lord said what? Trust the scriptures. Trust, trust the spirit. And try the spirit by the spirit. Micah 7 and 5. 
Let me get this. All right. Yeah, man. I can't say it on the screen on YouTube, but you see it. You see it. Right? Yep. So, yeah, man. You see the symbols they throwing up and all this shit? See, that's why America got to get destroyed. That's why this place got to get destroyed, man. And two-thirds of our people got to go. Micah 7 and 5. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. All right? Keep the doors of thy, of, of thy mouth from her that lie from thy bosom. So basically, have not trust in, uh, confidence in a guide. You're supposed to have faith in your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. But look at these people. Look at these women. You know? Hey man, I'm gonna get a different picture for the backdrop. All right, yeah man, there's a, there's a few people that got free from this madness, and um, they just go into more madness. They start going to church now, or something like that, <laughs> or they get more into Egyptology and sheesh, boy. Um, let me get this man. It says that man. All right. All right, this is 2 Timothy 3 and 13. Um, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, man. So they've been, they've, the same ones that have been doing this in uh, ancient times, man. Back here again, and they're getting worse and worse. Because the times are even more evil, man. And, and Esau is allowing this madness. You know, until he got called in on him uh, with some woman that, that called in. And you could do your research on that as well. But it says what? But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So he's being deceived as well because this fool is an Israelite. But he, and he, you know, but he's, he's calling himself God and, and on this African demonic three God legion weird shit, man. You know, like Baphomet, like, you know, like male, female, weird, you know, type shit. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. All right? So these people, they call themselves looking for the truth. But what? And, you know, that's why you go to these universities, you won't find it. You go to these schools, you won't find it. You go to these, these nigger lights in the streets or in these ghettos or in your house your family members they won't know it man it has to be divinely given from your haubashim haushai to his true men in their families you know so romans 11 and 7 what then israel have not obtained that which he seeked for but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded see so they, they're blind that's why there's nothing to be mad about people get watching and get mad it's just something to expose and point out and give people a a fair chance of uh, scripture say um, uh, put a basically marking these people man saying don't follow them go this way don't go that way all right and that's our job to do it but you know but to be mad at them nah man forgive them father for they know not what the hell they doing man you know they don't know what the hell they doing and the Lord is gonna cast the judgment the destruction but us we we can be vexed but people getting all emotional and I just can't take it. They don't understand the judgment of Yahweh, you know, by Shimei Yahweh Shai. This dude getting judged, man. And it's going to, you know, it's going to continue to the day they get destroyed unless they repent. All right, but the ones in the truth, it says what? According as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber. So the ones in the truth, they don't, they're not under the spirit of slumber. But these people here, people like Sarnetta and them, Lawataza, uh, what's the name, Polite, you know, people that claim to be in the truth but teaching the doctrine wrong. It says what? They got the spirit of slumber. It says eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day, man. You know, look at coincidence, they holding up the damn eyes, right? But they can't see for shit. A bunch of blind bats up in there. And David, 
Saith, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Let their let their eyes be darkened and that they may not see and be and bow down their back all the way, all the way to what? To destruction, to being destroyed. You know? So that darkness. Here you go right here. Here you go. It says here, Matthew 6 and 22. The light of the body is the eye. <laughs> if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light, man. But if thine eye be evil, so if you toying around with these doctrines, false doctrines and these churches and these, these uh, jakes out here, man, that's in the world, this was this was gonna lead our people to. You know, the devil. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness, man? It's gonna increase. It. You know, they're gonna wax worse and worse. All right, that's why this shit just looks weird, man. It's like a glitch in the damn matrix with these people doing. Worshiping this dude, bringing him, <laughs> bringing him food on the platter, and he petting them like pets and shit, smacking them on the cheek and shit. This shit weird, man. Like some dominatrix type shit. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, good Ecclesiastes, that's a rock, actually. Ten and nine. This is madness, man. Ecclesiasticus, ten and nine, it's a rock. Why is earth and ashes proud, man? This dude's proud. I seen a video, he was proud, man. They like, tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is he doing, man? They was all singing it. Three, three, three. And this dude was like calling up three guys, so they were sweet. <laughs> I like the hell of this madness, man. I couldn't watch no more. I couldn't watch no more, man. But I just heard um, that he got uh, judgment, man. He got gripped up and, you know, putting too much out there on the internet. He got caught. There was, it says, what? Why is earth and ashes proud, man? You know, he, he realized that he's just a damn human. When he see them feds kicking the door, you know, his eyes open, huge, bug-eyed. You know, he was scared. All right, yeah, you see here, the dude looks shook. All that pride shit went out the window. You know, the Lord said that. Why is earth and ashes proud, man? Okay. And that's just what Jake is. It's, this, it stems from pride. You know? All right, so yeah, man. Why is earth and ashes proud, man? There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such and one set of his own soul to sell. All right? For such and one set of his own soul to sell, man. Because... While he liveth, he casteth away his bowels, man. This man is soul to soul, man. You know? He's doing the devil's work. All right? So he's a uh, proud man, covetous man. Just like Esau. All right, second, Timothy 3.17. Actually, three and one. It says, you know what? Because the scriptures say, man, our, uh, the, the wicked of our people have surpassed the deeds of the wicked themselves, man, have surpassed Esau and shit. They always trying to outdo some. Jake always trying to outdo somebody, even in wickedness. Second Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. See, these are signs we're supposed to look for. People stepping up as saying that they're the, they're the Messiah. Cause they know the the Lord is about to show up. They can feel it. They see the the times coming. 
or if they don't believe in the Messiah, they know the times, they, they can see the destruction or prophecies coming to pass. Even if they don't know the prophecies, they just see people talking about the end times. So they're like, oh, it's my time to shine. And they step up and spew out their, and, sh and shine their darkness. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, man. These damn selfies and social media and shit and self-worship and narcissistic mindsets calling themselves God and all that three times over. <laughs> Can't be God one time. He got to be three God. This nigga here. TNT. That's him. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, man. He don't love those people. He love his own damn self. He don't love the Lord. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous. They blaspheme and calling himself God. Disobedient to parents, man. Unthankful, unholy, basically wicked. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, in incontinent, fierce, right, beating their ass over there. Despises of those that are good, man. All right, so if you get on and try to tell him the right thing to do, he'll try to uh, argue with you or some shit, you know. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, man. That's what they do. They love pleasures. He don't love the Lord. Having a form of godliness, calling themselves spiritual, right? But denying the power thereof from such turn away. These people need to turn away or stay with them because they... They um. They just like them, you know. Uh, for for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, laden with sins, and led led away with diverse lusts. So they being led over there for different type of desires and lusts, man. And that lust brings them into that hellish situation they're in with him. All right, ever learning and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth, man. So they always act like they know something and learning and this and that, carbonation, this and this and this. But at the end of the day, they're never able to come into the knowledge of the truth because he's blocking them. You know? He's blocking them, man. They're in the way. Uh, Sirach. 13 and 16, all flesh consorted according to kind, and a man will cleave to his like, man. All right, just like a woman or a man, they will cleave to their like. What fellowship hath the wolf with the lamb, or is the sinner with the god with, with the godly, man? What agreement is there between a hyena and a dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? All right. So that's just it, man. So it, they're part of that darkness. Verse fifteen: Every beast loveth its like. All right. Every beast loveth its like, his like, and every man loveth his neighbor. <laughs> so you gonna love your brothers in the truth? That's why the Lord said that. Who is my mother? And who is my brother and my sister? Those that do the will of your heart by Shema was shy. The rest of these people, they, these unity camps, man, and all these other people, they have the world, all right? And these are the things that go on in the world, man. This place is wickedness. It, it, it's wicked right now, all right? The times are evil. That's right. And, and the signs are showing themselves, even the imposters and the uh, false anointed ones. All right, so that's part of the signs at the end. People like Vocab, I think he said he's a German. Ephesians 5 and 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right, these are evil days we're living in. You see this type of shit going on, you know? And that's just it, man. So let me get one a couple more precepts. First uh, John 4 and 1. First John 4, 1. And it says here, Beloved, believe not every spirit, man. See, these people, they, they, can't, they can't believe every spirit, man. You can't believe everybody. 
but what you're supposed to do, but try the spirits by whether they are of Yahweh, because many false prophets are gone out into the world, man. So you got to try the spirit whether they're of God or not. All right? You know, so that, that and that's just it, man. Um, okay. Verse 6. We are, verse 5, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. All right, so this dude is speaking on his wickedness, and those same worldly-minded individuals, they follow him. And they praise him on the internet and such, man. And they 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 uh, st stroke their ego and shit, and lick their wounds. And say, no, it's okay. They're just young and dumb, and they don't know. No, man, they're being wicked. All right. That's why the Lord said when He shows up, He's gonna send the angels and the missiles that slay utterly old and young. He don't care, man. No respect to persons. This dude is in the way. All right, he's a demon. He got legion on him. That's what he should call himself. He probably would. He wouldn't mind. He said he's gonna be the leader of the um, the alphabet movement. You know the, the you know what I'm talking about. Starts with the L, ends with a T, and other other damn letters. All right, so let's skip around real quick. Exodus twenty. And three. See, the Lord don't like this, man. Exodus 20 and four, three. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, man. So his whole congregation will get judged as well, man. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to worship thyself to them nor serve them for Yahweh thy power am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me man and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments alright thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh and thy power in vain for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain man alright so the Lord is not playing He's not playing, man. Uh, Exodus 34, 14. The kind of people calling themselves God or calling themselves the Messiah. The Lord don't play about his son, and he don't play about his, na his name, his, his, his himself. Exodus 34 and 14. For thou shalt worship no other God, man. And the Lord said, ye are God, so we're not supposed to worship each, o each other either. For thou shalt worship no other gods, man. All right? These idols, no person, nothing. For Yahweh, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous power, man. All right? Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land. And that's what this idiot has done. He made a covenant with the false doctrines and the, the philosophies that are in this place that he learned. You know, he learned it while he was right here in America or wherever he was at. You know? In this time, in these times that we're in. And what? It caused our people to what? To, and they go a whoring after their gods and do sacrifice unto their gods. And, and, and one called thee and thou eat his sacrifice. You know? And thou take up their... Uh, well, that's something going to something else, man. But I'm going to keep going. Wisdom of Solomon, 1 and 6, 10. Here you go. 1 and 16. But the ungodly, right? No, 15. But for righteousness is immortal. So you want to be part of that. You don't want to be part of death and taking hold on death. Scriptures say death shall be chosen rather than life. That's what these people are doing. They're choosing death, man. They're choosing sin. They're choosing destruction to be destroyed, to remain among the congregation of the dead. All right, so they, so they got, that's why the Lord said, come out of her, my people. You know? 
And he's talking about spiritually, mentally, come out of this damn confusion, man. This wicked ass mindset here in this place. Verse 16. But ungodly men with their works and words, they call it to them. What do they call to them? Death. For when they thought to have it their friend, see, they're being friendly to this demon here. And this guy has made death his friend as well. They consumed to not and made a covenant with it because they are worthy to take part with it. And that's what them people are. They're worthy to take part uh, with, with this guy and his, his destruction, Ult ultimately in the end. All right, unless they pull away and repent and turn back from their wicked ways. Other than that, the Lord said, what? <clears throat> he said this. Proverbs 1 and 31. 30, all right, 1 and 30. 28. They shall call. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right, when the destruction comes, man. What it says? When your fear comes, verse 27. All right. No, matter of fact, let me start up a little higher. Verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. That's the point. The Lord said he's going to make known his words unto us. All right. Not some man on earth. The Lord said what? I shall not meet thee as a man. He's going to show up glorified as an angel. All right. But you got these idiots on earth taking advantage of these weak-minded individuals and the ones that lack faith. Basically taking advantage of the dead. Proverbs 1 and 24, Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Right? All of them heard this truth before. They know that they heard that they're Israelites. They had to. Because ye have said it not all my counsel and would none of my reproof, man. And I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, man. You know, so the Lord is laughing right now at this dude and his followers. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. So the Lord going to bring fear and then he's going to bring the destruction ultimately with the missiles. So that nobody can get past that if they're meant to be judged, isn't it? When distress and anguish cometh upon you, the Lord going to be literally laughing. Deep. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, they would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices, man. All right. So for the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them, man. So they're helping this fool right here prosper and is ultimately destroying themselves. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil, man, from from this madness right here. You know, you don't have that damn weirdo, no, the demonic shit in your life. One lady said she was seeing demons from dealing with this guy. All right. You're seeing uh, spirits and shit. Jeremiah 8 and 3. So you're playing with death. Jeremiah 8 and 3. And death shall be chosen rather than life. But all the residue of them, by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, man. Number two thirds. Which remain in all the places whither I have driven them, saith the Lord of hosts. All right. So they're over here doing more wickedness than before. All right. So, uh, yep, Isaiah 3 and 9. 3 and 9, right here. It says this, you know, man. Right? And uh, like the picture I showed you when he had that thing sitting in his house, that it, you know, Sasquatch, whatever that was, in a robe and shit, over there getting fucking pampered and groomed and shit. <laughs> whatever that was, right? I can't really say it on the internet, you know. 
That right there. Isaiah 3 and 9. The show of their countenance do of witness against them. And they declare their sin as Sodom, and they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, man. So this guy here, he went on the internet, was like, yeah, I'm going to be the leader of this. He said, it ain't, it ain't what you call bad. What it is, is, is cat energy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Good. <laughs> so you get what I'm going with it, right? I'm sure. So he said, what? And they declare their sin as Sodom. They declaring it. And they, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves, man. You know? And that's just it, man. Verse 11. Verse 10. Say ye, of, say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him. So the one that's in the truth is going to be well with you. For they shall eat of the fruit of their doings. You know, righteousness, man. All right, being in this truth, serving the Lord. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him, man. Man, you know? So you don't want to be this guy here, man. You don't want to walk in his path. If you know anybody like him, send them this video so they can snap into a Slim Jim or slap the hell out they self and get their damn scruples together. All right, Galatians 6 and 3, For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. See, this dude is deceiving not as only the congregation, but he's basically deceiving himself, man. You know, you don't want to sit in the seat of the scornful, sit in the seat calling yourself the Lord. <laughs> really? So are you willing to go up there and get crucified? You know, for, for, for your Howard's people? And to walk righteously? No, this guy can't do that. You know, it was already written that no man could do that. Revelation chapter 5. <clears throat> it says here, And one, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with the seven seals, man. The prophecies, and these idiots, they want to be Yahweh Shai. You can't, you know? Often imitated, never duplicated. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And the only one that's able to do that and worthy is the anointed one, Yahweh Shai. And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, you got people working under the earth and shit, right? Um, was able to open the book, neither to look to look thereon, right? And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And you know, so even amongst the dead bodies, you can't find a man, you know. And one of the elders said unto me, "Weep not, before behold the lion of the tribe of Judah." You know, so alive or dead, you couldn't find anybody in heaven, the spirit realm, in the grave, or walking around on the earth. Even to this day. And and one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. That's right. And what did the Lord say this? He said here, um, let me get this real quick. All right, Yahweh Shai is the one. He's the king. He's the uh, anointed one. All right. Hopefully I can find it. Uh, there you go. Hebrews 1 and 8. But unto the son, Yahweh Shai, he saith, Thy throne, O Yahweh, O power, I mean, Salakia. So Yahweh called Yahweh Shai a power, God, basically, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. And that's what we're supposed to look for, righteousness. And these these people are not damn righteous. Even our righteousness is as filthy rags, you know, but we do have more righteousness than, than them because we believe in Yahweh Shai. And greater is, is he that is within us 
than he that is in the world. You know? So he is our righteousness. Right? Um, Thou has loved righteousness and hated iniquity, says Yahweh Shai. Therefore, Yahweh, oh, I mean, God, even thy God, have Yahweh, have anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. That's Yahweh Shai is the, um, the Messiah. He's the anointed one. And, and the Greek terminology there say the Christ, but I don't like saying that either because that goes back to Christos, which is an um, a Elamite deity, pagan I, uh, idol. All right, with them Elamites, they believe in something called Krishna. All right, so it would be anointed or Hamashayak. All right, the Messiah, the anointed one. So, uh, so now, what was that? Galatians. I think I already read Galatians. You know, John. 4 and 23, I'm ended there. I don't spend too much time on this topic. John 4 and 23, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him, man. All right? God is a spirit, man. So this guy, is, matter of fact, yeah, that's right. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, man. You know? That's right, man. So God is a spirit. He's not no man walking around here on the earth right now. Go ahead. Let me see if I can find this one real quick. All right, I'm going to end with this one, Matthews 24 and 21. For then shall be great trouble, tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right? Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is, is the anointed one. So they, I'm going to say it this way. If they say, uh, Lo, here is the Messiah, or, or there, then believe it not, man. So if somebody's saying he's over here or he's over there, believe it not. Because why? We know that Yahweh Shai, according to the scriptures, he's on the right hand of the Father. You see that? So how can he be down here on the earth for their, you know, doing all this wickedness that this guy is doing? For there shall arise false messiahs and false prophets, you know, false prophets and false messiahs, man, like Nate and all them false prophets and these people in these Christian churches and shall dis and, and, and uh, the Roman Catholic Church the Pope and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect All right, and it better not be possible to deceive by this fool here behold I have told you before All right. wherefore if they shall say unto you behold he is in the desert go not forth man I like that dude, uh, pro uh, they called him uh, Prophet Yahweh or something like that in the past. I think he's, I think he, the Lord took him off the earth too. Uh, and he was a false prophet, man. And, and, you know, going along the lines of uh, sodomy as well. All right? Uh, uh, allegedly from what I was hearing him saying in the past. But he was saying, telling people to come out there to Las Vegas in the desert to meet him. You know? False prophet. You got all these people calling themselves the Messiah, the anointed. Each one of them, the Lord just pluck them off. All right? Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not, man. For as lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth e even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Right, so that's what we got to look for when the Lord returns. He says this in Revelations. Uh, my bad, Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, man. So when Yahweh Shai shows up, he's showing with an army of angels and chariots. All right, the Messiah, the anointed one. 
Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. So everybody's going to see him. All right? And I ain't going to go over to some Costa Rica or wherever this dude was hiding at. Or go to Georgia and meet up with this weirdo here. You know? And and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, because of Yahweh Shai, even so Amon. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith Yahweh Shai, the anointed one, which is and was and which is to come, the Almighty. All right? So he's, he's nothing but damn imposters. You know? So with that, I'm going to say, uh, Shalom.